Good morning healthy people. In my previous video, I restarted my weight loss journey. But this time around, I am not doing this only for weight loss. My goal is to become a healthy and happy person to improve my physical, mental and emotional state. I discovered the healing power of exercise. So, I started my 90 days of change. In these 90 days, I will exercise by moving my body every single day. Walking being a must and the major way to move my body. I will also be doing exercises here and there when I'm able to. In addition, I will incorporate an intermittent fasting program every week. And this week, I am doing OMAD, that is one meal a day every day, plus three liters of water. Today is my day two. I just came back from my morning walk and this here is me trying to do sit-ups. And as you can see, I'm not being so successful. I am struggling. I've only done five and I'm already tired. So I decide not today. Let me try and do little leg raises and see how it goes. Next up is a plank. Let me tell you, this thing is a monster because only 10 seconds in, and I'm down. My hair looks terrible, guys. I know I've said before that I won't do any exercises. But exercise practically healed me. Exercise has healed my joint pain, has healed my knees, has healed my mind, has healed my spirit, has healed my soul. Exercise and eating right, it has healed me in a way that I can't explain to you guys. So I want to make things right for myself. Today is my day two of doing exercise because yesterday was the first day. My knee, my right knee, initially, my right knee couldn't move up like this. And right now it's moving. It's moving. It's moving. So exercise has healed me and is healing me in a way that I can't define. And I feel like this is the only thing I've got left. This is the only thing that can save me right now. As I dress up, I'm thinking about the days to come and how they will change my entire life. I feel motivated to make a 360 change of my health. I look back and still can't believe how I let myself get here. But these thoughts don't deter me from becoming a better me. In fact, the best that I can be. Yep, my three liters of water, plain water. I have this huge water bottle that carries it all. So the first thing I do when I settle for work in the morning is sip my water and then continue sipping it throughout the day. Pee, sip it more and the cycle continues. I am usually tired and sweaty most mornings from walking and this morning is no exception. I take my one meal a day every day at noon. Today I am having this huge avocado, three scrambled eggs, and some ugali. It's day three and I'm excited to have lost a whopping 1.7 kgs. For my omelette today, I have three boiled eggs, one avocado, and some sliced tomatoes. In these 90 days, you will be seeing eggs in my meals almost every day. I love eggs because they are a good source of protein easy to make and very affordable this combined with avocado which is a source of fat keep you fuller for longer and this kind of meal also does not spike your insulin and that's the secret for being able to fast without getting hungry eggs are my go-to meal anytime any day anywhere always remember fat does not make you fat sugar makes you fat. I am obviously enjoying my meal and eating it with so much gratitude <laughs> because it's my only meal for the day. So what do you expect? The only evidence I have for day 4 is a short video of my sweaty face that I took after my early morning walk and my OMAD at noon 
again eggs can you believe that we are in day five already time and days are moving so fast it's 5 30 a.m in the morning who else feels like time is somehow usually stolen in the mornings i wake up at exactly 5 20 a.m start my morning walk at 5 30 a.m if i waste even a little time within a blink of an eye it's already 5 40 kidogo kidogo it's already 6 a.m and i don't like walking when the light is already out because cars on the road keep distracting me so i sleep with my working out gear ready and dress up immediately i wake up here i have already come back from my morning walk and i'm doing this workout called eight minutes from my extreme band dvd2 by the youtube channel called extreme hip-hop with phil it is just an eight minute workout but man this is everything if you can do this workout continuously without resting hats off to you but i'm getting there slowly by slowly as is the norm when i get to work the first thing i do is sip my water from the five days i have continuously taken water i have realized that my face has become smoother to the touch it is now 9 a.m i am pretending to be concentrating at work but the truth is all i'm thinking about are my eggs and sliced tomatoes so i decide because my piece is more important let me just get them out of the way by eating them as early as now even though my omad time is usually 12 noon. Don't ask me where the third egg is. I already ate it. The thing about intermittent fasting is when you're very tempted to break your fast and you actually do it by eating like I did with the one egg, the best thing to do is eat your complete meal, then restart your fast again. And that's exactly what I'm doing. After this, my next meal will be tomorrow at noon this for me is not an ideal complete meal vegetables and avocado are missing but it will do anyway I just came back from walking it's 6 a.m in the morning you can see how dark it is it's been six days ever since i started working out religiously i'm trying to make working out a habit ever since my knee got healed i realized there is power in exercise there is power in moving your body there is power in um, working out right so working out heals you it heals your emotions apart from the physical healing i think i also took up exercise for mental healing for emotional healing to heal whatever traumas that i have and it has changed me in a way that every morning i have a clearer mind i have a clearer brain so today is my day six i started working out on sunday today is on a friday i've been taking my walks every morning from 5 30 to 6 a.m it's usually dark and cold but today has been the hardest day for me i've been hungry the whole time when i was working out this morning firstly because i ate my one meal a day yesterday by 9 a.m in the morning i had finished my three eggs and my little tomatoes that i had in my plate because i didn't find avocado i think that's the main reason that i was hungry i was feeling fatigued and hungry this morning that must have been the main reason but we are pushing on little by little we are getting there uh i'll see you at the end of the week and give you my progress 90 days of change i've given myself three months 90 days to make it right as you can see i'm still not in shape yet it's only my day six of working out so we are doing this not only to lose weight but to become healthier people nowadays i'm a health advocate <laughs> from eating food anyhow to becoming a health advocate can you believe the turnaround i've been reading this book called atomic habits and thank god i came across it after i started doing my exercise so this book says that if you improve one percent every day by the end of the year you'll have improved 37 percent but if you deteriorate by one percent every day guess what by the end of the year you'll be back to zero so i'm trying to make exercise my habit 
and I think the only reason I succeeded this time was because I laid out a plan. I said that every day from 5.30 a.m. in the morning to 6 a.m. in the morning, I'll be taking a walk. I identified a place uh, next to my house on the road, which is like a, a steep hill. So I go there and I walk five times up and down, and it burns my... I, I, I usually feel it burns my legs. The light has already come out by now. It's almost 6 30 a.m. So you guys don't give up. Make small changes every day, a small improvement every day, at least one percent improvement. See where it takes you. Don't give up. The problem is that we give up before we see the results. Or after we see the results of what we have been doing, we stop doing what we have been doing. But we are doing this to be healthy. Eat right and do your exercise. It's gonna heal you from a lot of things. Every little thing you do, every time you hold me down.